welcome back to another Reading Video Scholars. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and that you are ready to tackle on this week's work. So, today we're going to be starting to read and learn from a new book and it's called Wangari's Tree of Peace and it's a true story from Africa. If you haven't listened to the read aloud yet, then I would like you to stop right here, go back and listen to the read aloud, and then come back to this video if so you can be ready for the lessons, all right? So, starting today, as we read, I want you to pay close attention to details about characters in the story so you can better understand the character's mood, personality, and feelings, all right? So then you'll be able to describe the relationship between the illustrations of the book and the story that it's in, all right? So let's get started. Readers pay attention to all the pages of their book to understand their characters. They look not only at each page, but also what all of the pages together can teach us about the character. We also use the illustrations to describe the setting in which the book takes place. So let's reread Wangari's Tree of Peace and think carefully about what we are learning about Wangari across the pages, all right? I have my book right here and I have your book on the computer. So let me get set up and we'll get started, all right? All right, scholars, I have our book set up. So let's get started. Wangari lives under an umbrella of green trees in the shadow of Mount Kenya in Africa. The setting of the story is where the story takes place. On page one, what can we learn about the setting after reading and looking at the illustration? Think about that question. I'll read that page one more time. And then I'll ask the question again so we can answer it together, okay? Wangari lives under an umbrella of green trees in the shadow of Mount Kenya in Africa. So what can we learn about the setting after reading and looking at the illustration? Let's look at it together. Wangari lives under an umbrella or covering of green trees. She lives in Africa near Mount Kenya, a tall mountain in Africa. So the setting of the story is in Africa, right? Okay, look at the illustration on page one. An umbrella is something that's usually used for protection from the sun and rain. How are the trees like an umbrella? Look at them closely. You see, the trees are like an umbrella because they are covering Wangari, the animals, and the houses. Right? So they are protecting them like an umbrella. Let's read our next page. She watches the birds in the forest where she and her mother go to gather firewood for cooking. So what is Wangari doing? Yes, Wangari is watching the birds in the forest. What is Wangari and her mother doing? Yes, Wangari and her mother are in the forest and they are gathering firewood for cooking. Let's move on to our next page in our story. And she helps harvest the sweet potatoes, sugar cane, and maize from the rich soil. What is Wangari doing on this page? Yes, she is collecting she's helping harvesting the food how does she help her mother yes she helps her by harvesting that means to gather so she helps her by harvesting or gathering the sweet potatoes the sugar cane and the maize the maize is corn all right let's read our next page Wangari shines in school, and when she grows tall like the trees in the forest, she wins a scholarship to study in America. So what does the author tell us about Wangari? 
You see, the author tells us that Rongeri shines. That means she does orders well in school. She grew tall like the trees in the forest, and she won a scholarship. A scholarship is money to study in Africa. So that money helped her travel from Africa and go to school in America. So the scholarship covered everything, all right? Look closely at the illustration. How does the author help us to see how Africa and America are different? Let's look on the African side of the water. See, she's on the boat, she's going to America, right? Look at the, uh, the side of Africa, of the water. We see Mount Kenya, there are trees, and an animal. What kind of animal is that? Yes, it's a giraffe, right? And the ground is a brown, reddish color, right? Then you look on the other side, which is America. And what we see is tall buildings and the ground is a blue color. All right, let's read our next page. Six years later, her studies over, Wangari returns to her Kenya home and sees a change. What has happened? She wonders, where are the trees? On page five, look at the page closely right here. How has the setting changed? Did you say there are no more trees? Yes, there are no more tree trees near Mount Kenya and Africa. So that is how the setting changed, okay? We are going to stop right here with our story for today, all right? Let me get it set up and I will let you know what your mission for today is, okay? All right, scholars, are you ready for your mission for today? Yeah? All right, here's your mission for today. As you read on Raskids today, I want you to pay close attention to all the pages of your book so you can better understand your characters, all right? And when you are all done, I want you to share with whoever is at home what you learned about your character. That's your mission for today. So, are you ready? Yeah? All right. Get ready. Get set. Go. Go. <laughs>